Okay, hi, I'm uh, Graham Turner. Uh, I'm here at uh, Trevor James factory in Lenham, Kent, uh, which is in the, uh, the leafy glades of England. Um, I'm here today and we're going to talk about um, the beginner saxophonist and some of the, the things that are going to be important for you uh, to understand to get the right kind of sounds, to, to, to know the instrument that you're going to start to play. For many of you, this is going to be uh, the start of a very long journey into playing this, this instrument. Uh, it's got a lot of heritage behind it. It's got a lot of uh, things that you're going to find a whole world out there that you're going to need to know about. Uh, we're just going to deal today with, with some of the um, more finer points of how you set the instrument up, getting to know the different parts of it. Uh, I've been, just to give you an idea about myself, I've been playing for... Um, almost 40 years now. Um, I currently uh, hold the position of, of saxophonist and MD with the uh, Drifters. Um, I've played in over 40 countries around the world uh, and um, I've appeared on a lot of albums, recordings, people like Robert Plant and Jeff Beck, uh, Jules Holland. So I've kind of been around the block a little bit. So today, as I said, I'm going to give you an indication into, um, into how, we can, how we can start to, to get you on the road to getting a good sound. The first topic that I want to talk about is the different parts of the saxophone, the assembly, the disassembly of these, of these parts and what they do. Okay, first of all, when you get your saxophone, uh, this is going to be it. This is a tenor but it's exactly the same for alto. Um, this is the main body of the instrument. For the time being, this is not where the action is going to be happening, um, but uh, we do need to think about this. We're going to take care of this. You'll find when you, when you see your saxophone for the first time that you're going to get a little sort of plastic stopper, which will be in the end there. Um, it's going to protect this octave lever around the back of the saxophone, and it's quite important for you when you're getting it in the, in the case. The saxophone then will come in five parts, and they're going to be here. Uh, the first one is going to be the, the reed, the bamboo reed, which is going to vibrate and it's going to give you the sound. It's placed onto a mouthpiece. This particular mouthpiece is a, is a, a basic ebonite hard rubber mouthpiece. They can come in um, different um, materials, metals, wood. So we're going to use this. This is the one that you're, that you're probably going to have as a beginner saxophonist when, you, when you've opened your case and you're going to see this type of mouthpiece. Uh, at the top of it, you're going to find a cap, which is literally going to go over the top there. And you've also got um, a thing called a ligature which is going to go around the mouthpiece and it's going to hold the reed on. The final part here is the, is the neck or the crook. It can be called the crook. Okay. Uh, this goes onto the top of the saxophone and is tightened up just there. One thing that you always want to try and remember, please, is um, when you're handling the saxophone, is never to pick any saxophone alto or tenor up by the crook just there because it can come away and you'll end up with a bit of a repair bill if it falls onto the floor. Okay, So we're going to just deal then with how we're putting this mouthpiece. First thing I'm going to do is to put the mouthpiece onto the end here. You might find that the cork might be a little bit stiff so you want to push it probably about halfway down there. And we want to try and get this to be the table here of the mouthpiece to be straight down the line of the neck. Okay, not off to one side, but straight. Okay, that type of thing. The next thing we want to do is then put the reed onto the mouthpiece. Uh, we need to get some moisture into this. Most of the reeds that you're going to play on will be bamboo, wood, cane. 
um, we need to get a little bit of moisture in there. Now, you can either do that by putting them into a glass of water just for a few seconds before you, before you play them, or most sax players will just do this. And it's there, and you would do the bottom half, and that then is going to come onto your mouthpiece, and just a little bit of moisture there is going to make it stick and adhere to the mouthpiece. And all I've done here is I've lined it up near enough level with the, with the top of the mouthpiece, just to start with. Okay. Very carefully at this point then, I want to take the ligature. You may find that, um, that these ligatures, probably the one that you're going to see is going to be like this. It's going to be metal. You can see them that are like this and are a fabric wrap. Okay, um, They both do the job equally as well. Probably the fabric one slightly better, but um, they're the two options that you will, that you will have. The ligature is going to come onto the mouthpiece with the screws to the right hand side, never upside down the other way. So it's going to look like this. Okay. Quite often, some of you may find that, especially on these metal ligatures here. That there's a round circle in the in the middle there. You quite often find various of the manufacturing logos of the mouthpieces out there are around there, and you can line them up. You can either line up, or there, there might be a little line there as well. But there's quite often a logo in the middle there, and you can line up there, and you know that your ligature then is in roughly the right place. You push it down, not too hard, just nice and firmly, and you notice that the reed there is right at the top of the mouthpiece. And also that at no point do I want to touch the top of that reed because I don't want to break it. It's very, very fragile. Reeds we will come on to talk about a bit later, but they do cost money. They're the only disposable part of the, of the saxophone. Uh, and you need to be careful with the top of them. One thing you don't ever want to be doing is putting your thumb over the top and pushing your reed up until it hits it. All you're going to do is break the reed. Okay, so just be careful with that kind of thing. You can manipulate the reed here, you can move it around until it's just level, and finally you can do up your screws like so. And that then has put the reed onto the neck of the saxophone. You're then ready to play. You can then put it onto the saxophone main body, pick it up, you are ready to go. This is uh, a process that you will obviously need to do every time that you play and in reverse as well because we would want to disassemble this for when you finish playing. Uh, you might want to wash your mouthpiece out, you might want to put your reed into a reed holder so that you're making it uh, safer, you're not going to catch the top of it, you're not going to break it um, and thus saving yourself a little bit of money as well because as I said they are quite an expensive thing. So. This is the way that we would go about it. This is then going to give you the best possible opportunity to make a good sound on your saxophone. Uh, this is the thing that is most important for every horn player, every sax player. He wants to get a good sound. Okay? And if you start to look through uh, the, the players that, 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 that have been, the great players over the course of the years, all of them, without exception, have a fantastic sound. It's something that we all strive towards, we all work towards. Um, and this is how the first basic thing that you're going to do to get that sound is to get your reed in the right place, get your mouthpiece put on. Just one final thing before we go on this subject. Try and do it this way, putting it onto the neck first of all, before you set your reed. Because if you do all the hard work here and set your reed up on the mouthpiece, and then you want to screw this onto the neck, you quite often will undo a lot of the good work that you've, that you've done here, and you could find that the reed has then moved itself slightly. Only a fraction of a millimetre can be the difference between you getting the sound that you really want and the sound that you're not happy with. Okay, so these are the various different parts. This is what you're going to do. If you want to put the lid onto it, just be careful again of the reed. 
and it comes on like that and that's it on your saxophone there's the parts assembled and disassembled